Welcome guys to Project Potato Podcast. I'm Potato Network and today we have Incognitia with us. Ahoy! So, like usual, we're gonna start with the track slash EP slash album of the month. And for me it has to be Infected Mushroom, Friends on Mushrooms EP. Really good EP. I, I suggest you check it out. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me... Feel like it's cheating almost, but uh, got to go with the Cohen Sound, Colprate, Asa, Opio collab. Uh, if you hadn't, they'd always do those yearly Movember tracks, and well, I mean, just just listen to it. It's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So the interview: Who are you, and where can we find you? You know, SoundCloud, Twitter. Yeah, I'm uh Twitter at the Incognitia, uh, SoundCloud just Incognitia. Uh, I'm on Splice. Although, I need to figure out why that's not working, because that's been messing with me a lot recently. Uh, yeah, I think I'm on Elo, but, I mean, it's Elo. No one's going to look for me there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, how did you come up with your artist name? Uh, for a while, after I started using, like, the internet, when I think I was around, like, I want to say seven, uh, I kind of really, like, got obsessed with this idea of uh, anonymity and stuff. Mm. And I noticed there wasn't a word, really, for, like, the idea of being incognito, so I kind of made up one. Oh, I mean, wow, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? That's, uh, yeah. that's kind of interesting, actually. You know, I'm... It's, it's, yeah. it's very Google searchable. If you mm. search incognitia, I'm pretty much the only thing that comes up. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, recently you released an LP called Open the Blinds. Could you tell us about it? Yeah, it's uh, nine tracks, about 28 minutes, I want to say. It's like 28 or 29 minutes on the dot. Uh, and uh, it's really like the first thing that I've kind of put together with the idea of keeping things done a certain way consistently throughout all of the tracks like I just wanted I have like four or five tracks on there that are all written in more or less the same key and use like a, the similar melody that I have uh, that repeats itself mm-hmm. and so it's really kind of uh, kind of a step forward in that direction as far as you know I, I wouldn't say storytelling but moving forward ideas goes yeah. it's pretty nice yeah. And, you know, follow-up question, uh, how does it differ from your Inner Demons EP? You know, does it also have mm-hmm. a story or, you know, a certain theme or... Yeah, it's there, kind yeah. of... it. It's, it's all about, like, this idea of, like, opening up and just, like, looking out at things. Uh, about halfway through the, uh, through the LP, there's a track called D- uh, Double Take. And uh, in that track, you see like this shift from like this kind of weird, almost ominous kind of vibe that I have going on the first half to this more uh, upbeat and positive. Uh, I wouldn't, yeah. hmm. I wouldn't say like uh, theme or anything, but it's it's more more upbeat. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so an interesting, you know. Uh, oh well. Um, how do you, um, never mind. Um, so, uh, systems of divination, you know, I heard it's, or it was seven people, including you. I mean, mm-hmm. what started it? Uh, I just sent out a bunch of, uh, little anonymous Skype message. Well, not really anonymous, but randomly sent out Skype messages to people saying, hey, I have this idea. We're gonna, have like this group of people and we're going to bounce around tracks and not really anyone's going to know who's who and what's what, but we're just going to bounce around tracks and work on them and see where things go. And it, it kind of worked in a way. It was very confusing. Like we had a structure down, everybody bounced tracks and they just kind of had to go through me at the end. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like filtered things through and out and made the last edits and all that. And it was just really slow, was the thing. Yeah. Like I those imagine, two tracks yeah. we released took us uh I wanna say I wanna say three months it took us to release those two tracks. Yeah, and okay. collectively we kinda decided like, eh, not really mm. not really ideal per se. I mean it was fun. Yeah. 
we learned a f- few things, but it wasn't a you yeah. know wasn't the ultimate strategy. Uh, so, how long have you been producing? Uh, I think this summer marks about two years. So I'm still kind of a scrub. Yeah, well, I mean, you learn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, learn quite a bit. Yeah. And what kind of equipment do you use? You know, DAW, any, you know, uh, MIDI keyboards Mm -hmm. or... Uh, Uh, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got the, uh, the classic ATH M50s as far as headphones go. Mm -hmm. Uh, I use FL12 for my DAW. I know a lot of people hate FL12 and I was pretty skeptical myself going in, but I've gotten used to it. It's not really, I mean, I don't hate it. I, I don't really see what everyone else has problems with with it. Well, I guess maybe the aesthetics. A lot of people were really unhappy about like how shiny they tried to make everything look with it. Yeah. And yeah, I can see it. It looks a lot more uh, like they tried to be really sleek with everything. Mm. I can see how that would irritate some people, but I don't. I didn't really care. I yeah, yeah. I got it all working, and it seems to work for me. Mm. Uh, and I don't have any keyboards or anything like that. It's just really just my my tower PC and yeah. my headphones, really. Yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you have future projects projects coming up but um do you have any you can share with us uh right now i'm working on like a compilation deal of things like i've a lot of uh i've been working recently on a lot of spacey sounding things not kevin spacey but Mm. having to do with space yeah uh and it's really like this old like 90s vibe of space and which i really kind of well, I don't want to say stole, but got really heavily inspired by from uh, like this old game from '99 called Free Space. Wait, Free Space One was '98. Free Space Two was '99. Yeah. And uh, I've just kind of like took a lot of the uh, the vibes from that and just ran with it. And it's pretty interesting. I'm not sure when or what I'm gonna call it, or if I'm even gonna like have tracks per se. If it's not just gonna be a continuous. Uh, project deal, but I don't know. It's it's interesting. I'm I'm seeing where I'm going with it. Mm. And final question: Do you have any tips for new producers who are you know starting out and having no idea what to do? Uh, it's probably been said before, but experiment. Experimenting yeah. is absolutely key. Like half of my half of my tracks just start off with me taking like some vocal sample and running it through like Vocadex three times just to see what it would sound like or putting on like two different delay filters on it. Mm. Like I, I just go crazy with effects a lot and sometimes it does have some pretty appealing results. Yeah. I actually have one thing I'm working on right now that I took like a, uh, a generated vocal sample, a synthesized vocal sample and I just ran it through a bit crusher and threw on reverb and I want to I want to say a flanger, but I don't think I put a flanger on it. Uh, and it kind of turned into like a bass house lead, and I'm running with that right now on a track, and it's really fun. But uh, yeah, it's yeah, experimentation is really really both fun and it helps you learn a lot. Yeah, agreed. Uh, yeah, we should probably probably do I... some kind of intro, uh, or this is uh, outro. Yeah. Um... Should I, you know, say thanks for tuning in, or do you want to do it? Uh, you can. Um, okay. Thanks, guys, for... Oh, fucking... Uh, yeah, um, I'm not having really my mojo right now, but let's try it out. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in for today's podcast with Incognitia. Uh, here are two of his tracks that he would like to show you. Or a push. push. I've got my agenda. Yeah. Um, uh, thanks, guys, for tuning for today's podcast with Incognitia. Uh, here are two tracks that he'd like to push push against you. Push to you. Push to you. Okay. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning for today's podcast with Incognitia. Uh, here are two of his tracks that he'd like to push to you. Enjoy. 
สถาบัน Yay.